Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how to recognize and send raw MIDI messages instead of note on, note off. One advantage of doing it this way is it can reduce the number of translators you need to create in a project by using bit manipulation of the incoming MIDI messages. In this tutorial, I'm going to use a single translator to pass through only note on and note off messages, thereby ignoring any other messages. If you're not aware of raw MIDI messages, let me show you an example of a note on, note off message. The message on the left is a note on message. The message on the right is two forms of note off messages. In all cases, these messages are represented in hexadecimal numbers. The X represents the portion of the value that is the channel, and NN represents the note value. VV represents the velocity or the power value of the note. A note on message with a velocity of zero is actually another way to send a note off message. The example here shows you what a note value of uh, note one on channel two would actually be with a velocity of 127 or maximum velocity. In MIDI terms, uh, channel 1 is actually represented by a 0, channel 2 is represented by a 1, and so forth. In this example, I'm going to use the pattern PP, QQ, and RR, and I'm going to manipulate the local variable PP in order to achieve the desired results. Here I'm opening my default MIDI input and output ports in Bow MIDI Translator Pro. Now we'll go ahead and add a translator. This will be a raw translator that will handle both note on and note off messages. The income trigger, as described earlier, will be a raw MIDI message with a pattern PP, QQ, RR. For output, we'll also use a raw MIDI message with the same values PP, QQ, and RR. Now let's go ahead and set up the MIDI rules. Uh, I usually like to comment all the rules with the double slash so that I know what I'm doing when I come back to the project later. So what we're going to do is we're going to mask out the current channel and we'll use a variable SS to do that. And what we'll do will and that with the upper four bits of the incoming message or OXF0, OX being a hex representation. And that'll just uh, show us the upper portion of it. And that'll be the note on, note off portion of it. And what we're gonna do is if XX or SS is a, an OX90 or 90, then we're going to uh, exit the rules and execute the outgoing action. That's basically a note on. So we just want to send the note on if it's a OX90 or hex 90 message. We'll do the same thing for note off. If it's a OX80 or a hex 880 message, then we'll exit the rules and we'll execute the outgoing action. Finally, we don't want to handle any other uh, messages uh, other than note on, note off with this translator. We want to mask those messages so they don't go through. So if it doesn't pass those two variables or those two conditions, we're not going to do anything. We're going to just exit the rules and then skip the outgoing action. And that should take care of uh, what we want to do today. So let me catch up here. So exit the rules. and skip the outgoing action. So that's really all there is to setting this up. So as you can see here and using the virtual keyboard, uh, as I'm pushing keys, all the note messages are going through. You can see the conditions, the rules, and the outgoing and incoming messages. If I adjust the volume, which is not a note message, it exits the rules and skips the outgoing action. So it, you can see that it's not doing anything. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and as always if you have any questions uh, feel free to reach us at www.bohm.com.